Hi guys, my name is Ariana. I'm Jasmine. And we are in their environmental science class and we are at Log Padden Park in Greenland, California, five minutes away from CSUMB. Um, so here we have a lot of producers. We've got a lot of trees and plants, but you can see a lot of them are dead or dying or dry. We see over here with the bushes too, so that they can get some in the drier side. Same with the trees. These are in the drier side. So we see a lot of sand here, so we know that there's worms in there, which are the decomposers. We just can't see them right now since it's pretty dry, but we'll see them once it gets moist when it rains. Or... And as you can see, at this park, there are gophers living underneath the ground. And gophers are primary consumers because they feed on plants and shrubs. Okay, we're here at Lock Cannon Park where this area used to be a pond. But now we see that there is no water. There is just plants, shrubs, and weeds. I would say that the reason this is um, happening is because the lack of water and the, um, the lack of the area being taken care of because as we see here, there's a lot of like weeds. So obviously like no, there's just everywhere. Um, they just seem like not native species that are out competing the other plants such as the trees. I had to do a voiceover due to the wind. However, what I was saying was that the flock of birds flew from one producer to the other, showing a commensalistic relationship. This is due to the producer not being harmed and it does not benefit. However, the consumer does benefit. Also, the consumer does benefit, which is the bird in this case, because they're getting the habitat and shelter, which is the tree. If the pond were to still be here, there would be predators, and one predator example would be a duck. A duck would feed on fish or other insects.